Can you believe it? I've got two blogs to go in this challenge and I've decided to do something about Jason again because um, he's pretty cool, right? I've uh, never used that before. So this uh, column formatting in SharePoint is a pretty cool thing. In this uh, blog, I'm referring to a specific article by the SharePointer that was published last year, November. And um, he's, uh, he's uh, shared some cool stuff in there about RAG statuses for projects. So on my SharePoint site, I've got a library that um, I've set up where people will once a month um, load their project update. They'll fill in who the project owner is, what the project is, like change the world, lose 20 kgs. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. Win the lotto, write 365 blogs. It's got the project manager, month end, and it's got RAG status as well. So if I go to this list settings, I'd like to change that or the library. I want to change that RAG status to actually display a color. So if we look at this uh, blog, of the SharePoint, you'll see he's referring to a couple of cool things there and then he shared this very very cool thing and this is what I want to achieve. I'm not going to use the yellow of it, um, I actually don't know the yellow status when it comes to RAG statuses and projects. So I've just skipped that, I'm not going to use that status but I do want to try and apply this and if you go down into his blog you'll see that he says here, yeah the screenshots, the JSON files are available on my GitHub repository. So what a cool good dude to actually share that for us. So thank you very very much for that. I then went to his GitHub and there's a couple of different ones that you can get the code from. So the one that I want to use is RAG status, but you'll see that there's score, level change, register, project register, really, really cool. That's just the images. So here's the JSON, um, the, the code that we can use, um, the snippets for the column formatting. So I've used this RAG status and uh, I'm just going to open that up. And uh, this is actually the RAG status here that's right there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy... Um, just go back. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go to my column called RAG status and this is how easy it is. Remember I have to use exactly the same naming as what he's got in his uh, in his uh, code. So you'll see there's red, there's green, there's amber and um, of course he refers to yellow as well which I don't use but that doesn't matter. So then when I go down um, to at the bottom here where it says column formatting, change the display, blah, 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 paste. Let's take a look if this works. You'll see that my lose 20 kgs project is, uh, is blood red there. I'm not getting very far with that. But my right 365 blogs is green, which I'm nearly, nearly done. So I just want to say thank you so much um, to the SharePoint who shares some really, really cool stuff around the the JSON that we can use for column formatting. And there's a lot of other guys out there um, making this available for people as well. So thank you so much. I don't know who that is. I bet you it's someone that I know. I'm going to have to go and find out, find out who that is. But uh, what a cool, cool, cool thing. Amber, red, green. Uh, and it's so easy to do, people. Again, please use trusted resources. Um, follow these guys. I mean, they get um, referred to as well. If you go and look on Twitter and you just uh, see who the guys are that regularly share information, you'll definitely be fine and you can get a lot of these little snippets that you can use to do conditional formatting on your columns. And that's it for my second last post. So I'm sure you can figure out what I'm going to share in my last post with you, <laughs> what product I'm going to talk about. But that's it then. We'll, uh, we'll chat soon. And uh, the last video is coming up uh, right after this.